Canada's economic roller coaster. A quick look. Today, we're diving into the twists and turns of the Canadian economy, a landscape that's as dynamic as it is unpredictable. The Canadian economy is on a bit of a roller coaster ride. From the bustling stock markets to the everyday transactions, the financial pulse of the nation is constantly shifting. We've seen some ups and downs lately. Economic indicators have been fluctuating, reflecting the broader global uncertainties and domestic challenges. Inflation was a big concern, but it's finally starting to ease. The cost of living had surged, affecting everything from groceries to housing, but recent measures seem to be taking effect. However, some people are worried about a possible recession. The fear of economic slowdown looms large, with businesses closing and job security becoming a major concern for many Canadians. The Bank of Canada is like the conductor of this roller coaster. It plays a crucial role in steering the economy, making decisions that impact every facet of financial life. It uses interest rates to try and keep things on track. By adjusting these rates, the bank aims to control inflation and stabilize the economy. Right now, everyone is watching to see what the bank will do next. The anticipation is palpable, as each decision could have significant repercussions. Will it cut rates to stimulate the economy? Lowering interest rates could encourage borrowing and investment, potentially boosting economic activity. Or will it hold steady? Maintaining current rates might be seen as a cautious approach, aiming to avoid overheating the economy. It's a tricky situation, and there are no easy answers. The balance between fostering growth and preventing inflation is delicate and complex. But understanding the basics can help you make sense of it all and plan for your financial future. Knowledge is power, and being informed can help you navigate these uncertain times. So buckle up and let's dive into the world of interest rates and what they mean for you. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, understanding these concepts is crucial for making informed financial decisions. The Interest Rate Puzzle why cuts are on the table. Interest rates are a crucial tool used by central banks to manage the economy. They influence everything from consumer spending to business investments. Imagine interest rates like the price of borrowing money. When you take out a loan, the interest rate determines how much extra you'll pay back over time. When rates are high, it costs more to borrow. This means higher monthly payments on mortgages, car loans and credit cards, which can strain household budgets. High rates can also slow down the economy because people and businesses borrow less. With less borrowing, there's less spending, and businesses may struggle to grow or even stay open. Conversely, when rates are low, borrowing is cheaper and the economy tends to heat up. People are more likely to take out loans for big purchases, and businesses can invest in expansion. Recently, the Bank of Canada has been raising rates to fight inflation. Inflation occurs when prices for goods and services rise, reducing purchasing power, and it's worked. Inflation is coming down, which means the cost of living isn't rising as quickly and people can better manage their expenses. But now, some people worry that the bank might have gone a bit too far. High interest rates can cool down the economy too much, leading to reduced consumer spending and business investment. They're concerned that keeping rates high could push the economy into a recession. A recession is a period of economic decline, where businesses close, jobs are lost and overall economic activity decreases. That's why there's talk of rate cuts. Lowering interest rates could make borrowing cheaper again, encouraging spending and investment. Cutting rates could give the economy a little boost. It could help businesses recover, create jobs and increase consumer confidence. But it could also push inflation back up. If borrowing becomes too cheap too quickly, it might lead to excessive spending and rising prices. It's a delicate balancing act. The Bank of Canada must carefully consider the timing and size of any rate cuts to avoid triggering another round of inflation while supporting economic growth. Rate cuts and your wallet. What to expect? So, how could rate cuts affect you? Well, it depends. If you're a borrower, lower rates could mean some savings. For example, your mortgage payments might go down if you have a variable rate mortgage, but if you're a saver, lower rates might mean you earn less interest on your savings accounts. It's a bit of a trade-off. The bottom line is that rate cuts can impact your personal finances. It's important to stay informed and adjust your budget accordingly. Talk to your financial advisor to see how rate changes might affect your specific situation. North American Neighbors Comparing Canada and the US, Canada and the US are like neighbors who share a backyard. 
They have a long history of cooperation and friendly rivalry. Both countries have distinct cultures, yet they share many similarities in lifestyle, values, and even in their economic structures. What happens in one economy often affects the other. For instance, a boom in the US economy can lead to increased demand for Canadian exports, boosting Canada's economy. Conversely, a downturn in the US can have a ripple effect, slowing down economic growth in Canada. The same goes for central banks. Both the Bank of Canada and the US Federal Reserve play crucial roles in maintaining economic stability. They set interest rates, control inflation, and ensure the smooth functioning of the financial system. The Bank of Canada and the US Federal Reserve keep a close eye on each other. They often coordinate their policies to avoid economic shocks that could affect both countries. This coordination is vital for maintaining financial stability in North America. Right now, the Fed is also considering its next move on interest rates. Interest rates are a powerful tool used by central banks to control economic activity. By raising or lowering rates, they can influence borrowing, spending and investment. Some experts believe that the Bank of Canada might wait to see what the Fed does before making any big decisions. This cautious approach helps to ensure that their policies are in sync and that any potential negative impacts are minimized. After all, if the US cuts rates and Canada doesn't, it could affect the exchange rate between the Canadian and US dollars. A significant change in the exchange rate can impact everything from the cost of imports and exports to the value of investments. This could have implications for businesses that trade across the border. Companies that rely on cross-border trade need to be aware of these economic policies and how they might affect their operations. Staying informed and adaptable is key to thriving in this interconnected economic landscape. Section 5. Expert Opinions – Voices from the World of Finance Economists and market analysts are like weather forecasters for the economy. They use their expertise to predict what might happen next. When it comes to Canadian interest rates, opinions are mixed. Some experts believe that the Bank of Canada will cut rates soon to prevent a recession. Others think the bank will hold steady for a while longer to make sure inflation stays under control. It's important to remember that these are just predictions. No one knows for sure what the future holds, but by considering different viewpoints, you can make more informed decisions about your finances. Section 6. The Housing Market Conundrum – Will Cuts Fuel the Fire? Canada's housing market has been a hot topic for years. Prices soared in many cities, making it difficult for some people to afford a home. Higher interest rates helped cool down the market a bit. But now, with talk of rate cuts, some people are worried that housing prices might start to climb again. This could make affordability even more of a challenge. Of course, many factors influence the housing market. Interest rates are just one piece of the puzzle, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on, especially if you're thinking of buying or selling a home in the near future. Section 7. Businesses and Rate Cuts – A Boost or a Burden Rate cuts can be a double-edged sword for businesses. On the one hand, lower rates can make it cheaper for businesses to borrow money, invest, and expand. This can be good for the economy overall. On the other hand, if rate cuts lead to higher inflation, it can eat into businesses' profits and make it harder to plan for the future. Ultimately, the impact of rate cuts on businesses depends on a variety of factors, including the specific industry, the company's financial situation, and overall economic conditions. Section 8. Inflation in the Balance – Walking a Tightrope Inflation is like a sneaky thief that steals the value of your money over time. When prices go up, your money doesn't buy as much as it used to. The Bank of Canada aims to keep inflation under control, ideally around 2%. That's why it raised interest rates in the first place. But cutting rates too soon could reignite inflation. It's a delicate balancing act. The bank needs to support economic growth while also keeping inflation in check. Section 9. Future Scenarios – Navigating Uncertainty Predicting the future of the economy is like trying to predict the weather. There are a lot of variables, and things can change quickly. However, experts use economic models and historical data to create possible scenarios. Some scenarios suggest that Canada's economy will experience slow growth in the coming months. Others predict a mild recession. It's essential to remember that these are just possibilities, not guarantees. 
The best way to navigate uncertainty is to be prepared for a range of outcomes. This includes having an emergency fund, managing your debt wisely, and diversifying your investments. Section 10, Staying Informed. Your Financial Game Plan. The world of economics and interest rates can seem complex and confusing, but you don't need a degree in economics to make smart financial decisions. The key is to stay informed about the basics and how they might affect your personal finances. Pay attention to news reports, read articles and talk to your financial advisor. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the forces at play in the economy, you can make more informed decisions about your money and face the future with confidence.